Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Studio Sunday with Robin and Terry. We are at C2E2 in Chicago. In our booth. And the show's about to open, so we're going to do this really fast. Yeah. Um, but I, the first question I have is actually from me. Okay. Give it to me. Okay. Oh, uh, why do you want to do these shows? What do you get out of doing these shows? Uh, well, I get to meet the fans, of course, and there's like uh, 100,000 people here. Uh, I haven't met 100,000 people, but it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to meet everybody and see the books and hear the stories about people who found the book somewhere, so that's fun. What about the lady that came on Saturday, or Friday, I guess, and she had three suitcases full of your work yeah, for I, you to sign? I posted pictures of that on Twitter. Uh, Three big suitcases full of books, and I think there were doubles of some of them, but oh my gosh. And it took us like an hour per suitcase to sign. Uh, this one, But this woman had driven six hours to get here to do that. So yeah, of course I'm going to do it. I, I wonder about the people who charge for signatures. You know, you would never do that, you know. But I don't charge because I'm glad you have the book, so more power to her. Okay, well this is the last day of the show, so no yeah. telling what we'll see today. A lot, uh, one, uh, yesterday we saw uh, uh, Impulse Dancing over here in the open area, and, and they put on quite a show. Very talented people. Were you out there dancing? Uh, no, I do not dance. Get out there. No. Show, us, show us your moves. <laughs> I dance like a broken monkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. so our question from a reader today is regarding sound effects. Okay. What? Uh, what do you think of, about when you tackle illustrating a sound effect in your comics? Do you have certain go-to fonts? Do you freehand them? Are there any specific tools that you use? Well, I do all my lettering uh, by hand, and so when it's time to do sound effects, I do that as well by hand. And it's fun to make up something visual that matches uh, the sound effect. And also, cartoonists are very proud of this crazy, stupid little words that they'll make up for something. Like uh, P P P P H T. That's a cartoonist word, you know. That's not a real word. Um, kaboom, and then all the versions of explosions. I mean, it's just kind of a fun thing to do when you're cartooning. So I do that. I just kind of try to figure out the sound in my head, and then try to make up the letters that would match it. And uh, if you get it right, the reader goes, "Yeah, of course." <laughs> what happens when you get it wrong? When you get it wrong, they go, "What?" <laughs> uh, so I don't know, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun to draw the sound effects, including the whatever it's matching. So, okay, it's part of the fun. Well, those are our two questions for today. Okay. Um, Good. This week we'll be back in the studio on Tuesday, and fly home tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna put up the leftover things that I have sitting that we found, the little treasures we found in the warehouse. Good. So those will be up this week. Okay. Uh, we hope you guys have a great week, and Terry will have a drawing tutorial for you next Sunday. Yeah, when I get back to the studio. So, And people are coming in now. We've got to open up the show. And wish you were here. Bye.